Hi folks, quick video. Um, I had been having some uh, inverted problems, mentioned it along the way. Uh, we even at one point I had a battery charger on the, uh, on the cabin side of the battery setup uh, just to try and keep things going while I changed out the inverter. So I changed out the inverter, still having some inverter issues. Manufacturer's been helpful, but not as, not as much help as would be nice other than to say, take it out and ship it somewhere. Well, I, I can't do that. Um, at this point, I need to be able to do a little more on my own. So that's on me. But what I wanted to share with you is uh, the setup I put in here, and I will talk through it. I added a couple of uh, charger units, both for purpose of regular charging when on shore power and for keeping the batteries maintained once they've, they're up to snuff uh, so that I don't have to rely on the inverter acting also as the charging port. So what I've done is added a pair of chargers into the battery compartment. I have a two amp trickle charge covering down below here the actual uh, engine batteries. And then I have a five amp covering my, in my case, pair of 12s. Normally they would be four sixes for this model. Uh, but along the way, I finally had batteries die and this is what I could get and they've been working fine ever since. So I have a pair of 12s that I'm feeding in the same fashion out of a five amp. Um, I'm not advertising for the charger company, but what I've done is I've pulled cable through the floor up in the bedroom out here and simply plugged in to take care of charging in addition to what I would be getting out of the inverter uh, if and when it decides it's a good day to charge. So um, just one way to keep everything neat and tidy and fully charged when you're on shore power in addition to other options or other alternatives.